Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Apologies for the last one. It cut out. <laughs> to be honest with you. Today we have our third battle. So we're sitting at one and one. So we're still pretty good right now. Uh, we're going with a oh, little sneak peek and what's to come. Uh, we're heading into our third battle with Team Eldez. Our opponent's using Huizing, Muck, Driftlim, Hitmonchan, Mamoswine, and the Kingdra. So a very unique team, definitely not OU stuff besides like Mammal Swine and Weezing probably the most popular, maybe Kingdra. Definitely Driftblim, Muck, and Hitmonchan. Definitely not stuff you'd commonly see, so very much appreciate that. Uh, with that, let's see how this battle goes. Can we get another win? Let's find out. The opponent leads off with her Kingdra, and out comes our Fraudrin again. Same strategy, same lead, that's never going to change. And we set up rocks because we can. Because we can. Because we can. We set up rocks because we can. We're Sash. Actually, I don't know why we're going. Oh, we're going for Rock Tomb to slow down its speed tier actually first. Because we know this thing's probably going to D that, isn't it? Huh? I think that's the assumption we're going under. But it's act Oh, it's a Draco meter, so that's fine. We live one. We live one or anything. So yeah, down, farther than So we can now outspeed and get up rocks successfully. So it's fine. This is fine. I'm actually surprised we outspeed this king truck. So it's probably either modest or it's running like some weird set, weird spread that's not max speed. Because King Draw should always outspeed Pinsir, I think. Unless I'm underestimating Pinsir's speed. So out comes Wheezy. Remember, we have Mode Breaker, so he she can't avoid the earthquake coming. She doesn't know I didn't use it yet either. But she can't dodge the earthquake coming her way. So this is really good. This is a very rare example of that mode breaker coming into play. It's not neutralizing gas. Is mode breaker so levitate does not matter. We do a big chunk of damage to this wheezing. And if yeah, I mean, okay, she will have with us, that's fine. What if she missed? Then wheezing would have been very crippled. She can't go for pain split now. And so Burn's gonna knock out uh Pincer. That's fine. We did a lot of damage to uh, wheezing and we set up rocks. So we Pinsir did his job. Pinsir did his job. Frogger did his job. Great. So we go into Flygon here. Um, we know Weezing is more defensively when ran, not Spadef. I mean, there is Spadef Weezings, but commonly it's Bold Nature because of Weezing's big bulk and the Will O Wisp. So we go for Draco Meteor here, thinking we can knock it out. I think we do actually knock it out here. Let's see. Is that one? I can't see. The screen is really small for me when I do these. Weezing goes down. Okay, Weezing goes down, so a big physical wall is gone and some damage is done to Kingdra. Even so, we outspeed because we're Scar. Out comes Mammal Swine. Obviously, an Ice Shard's coming or a Rocks. So that's fine with me. Uh, we switch out into. I believe we should switch out into Spike here. Either we withdraw Flygon and we go into the Grand Bull now to get the Intimidate. And whatever she uses is not going to do a lot of damage. Oh, I mean, Antimity, never mind, it's oblivious, so it doesn't see it. And she uses her rock, so very good. She took advantage of the situation. I was contemplating on going into the main neck trick, actually, because it's Specs Flamethrower. And that would have done a lot of damage to this Mammal Swine, but what if the all odds she goes for Earthquake? So, you know, that's all. That's why I went to Grand Bull. That's probably the smarter play, too. Out comes the Muck, and we do click Earthquake, I believe. Oh, wait, no, 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 we could play around. So that's going to do a little chunk of damage. That's fine. Muck is more especially defensive. And we get the minus one attack on Muck. Muck is, hits very hard. But that's fine. That's fine. And we go into Mystic again, I believe. So yeah, we switch out. We go into Mystic. And we can click Earth Powers, barring Drift Blip. So it depends on the risk, that the, whatever risk we want to take here. So she unfortunately misses her gunk shot that would have that's resisted anyway, but it still would have been necessary damage to take out the flygon. So we go into U-turn forcing the we force the switch obviously with Muck because she knows I'm scarf. But we go into U-turn to um, basically get the advantage on what's on what to send in next. So we get the switch initiative basically. So U-turn, there's a little chunk of damage, drift blend, that's quad resisted. And I believe now we go out into main electric. So now we send out main electric, and now it's main electric's time to shine because she really doesn't have anything in the back that wants to take on main electric besides mammal swine. And all chances she goes into mammal swine, we use flamethrower. 
So she withdraws. Mammal Side's gonna take a chunk of damage now from this flame chore. Actually, no, she's gonna hit Monchan. Alright, that's an alright switch. I could have gone for Thunderbolt and killed Hit Monchan. That's fine. Uh, we do Flame Char, that's gonna do a lot of damage. Wow, it's a two cold. That's a crit. I don't know if that crit mattered. It might have. I don't know. Well, I know one of them's more specially defensive than the other. But I don't know now. But anyway, she's probably gonna go for Mock Punch or something like that. I outspeed, uh, so she. No, no bother switching out. I would have gone Mock Punch, maybe she doesn't have Mock Punch. Anyway, down goes Hit Monchan. What do you send out now? Drift Blim? Or Mammal? Mammal Swine comes out. Now this is super effective. She doesn't have the Thick Fast. She's oblivious. She's oblivious because she blocked that Intimidate. So now this is going to really hurt and do a lot of damage and knock out Mammal Swine. Hit him with that Flamethrower. Boom. Mammal Swine's gone. So she doesn't have much options now. Now I'm free to click Thunderbolt if I wanted to switch out and click Thunderbolt. I can spam Thunderbolt now. I believe she goes into Drift Blim though. No, she goes into Kingdra to Quad Resist. She probably should have done that sooner. Uh, I don't think she knew I was Specs actually. So now I'm forced to switch out and I go out into Spike now. So out comes Spike and we got the Intimidate drop. Uh, just in case it is some mixed variant or some sort. It's Dragon Dance or something. So now this thing's at minus one. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. So she's actually the focus energy set, so that's quite scary to deal with. Um, yeah, I mean, and obviously she outspeeds as well, so she's at 99% chance to crit now. Uh, so that's quite scary. We go for play rough, and the off chance she doesn't get the crit. She goes for ice beam. I probably would have gone for skull just to get the stab because that crit definitely the crit uh, skull would have killed. So if we play rough, we play rough, and Kingdra is going to fall to the grand bowl and I don't think that crit mattered I don't think so and yeah now she's really in a bad spot now she only has muck and drift blim left we're actually surprisingly playing really good here today <laughs> so comes muck and ultimately she is going to tap out she is going to tap out this turn I believe because uh, she can't do anything Maynetric destroys the rest of her team so she taps out See y'all next time. Bye.